Hey, what's up guys? I'm Len here. Today in this video, we're gonna do an unboxing and also I'll be doing my first impression of this Vivo V9 perfect shot perfect view so you might be knowing this vivo v9 is the latest offering from the company and vivo was when they launched the phone they were talking a lot about the smartphone itself and also they were talking a lot about the camera also let's see the device how good the device is and some of my friends uses they uses vivo phone and also uh, they say that the vivo cameras are generally great and also they are good for selfies uh, earlier to this one i was using a stock android basically that is xiaomi mi a1 so i thought like let's let's just for a change let's get this vivo v9 this phone which is the latest offering from uh, the company and let's just test this device out so just for the change we're gonna do the unboxing for this vivo v9 on our channel so as you can see this is the official box itself and guys this uh box and this uh, vivo v9 is available in flipkart for rupees around 23k but the thing is that in flipkart the uh, device is not available as of now because there have been a lot of hype about this device so you know the device comes and it goes out of stock so the situation is you're not gonna get hold of this device online uh, very soon so what i did is i went to a local store and i bought this device and so as i bought it from my local store this is not going to be the perfect unboxing i already did unbox the phone and i've used it for a couple of hours and so just for the like sake of unboxing and i'll be showing you what are the box contains as you can see this is the box itself in which uh, the phone comes in so let me just open the box and let me show you what are the box contains so we we get this bumper case uh, that is actually good because with this kind of phones uh, we don't generally get some cases within the box itself so we get this case let's keep it aside and here is the phone so let me just take it out from the plastic already i set this phone up as i told you earlier so yeah so let me just take the phone out from the plastic so yeah looks good actually uh, it's a 6.3 inch device and compared to a 6.3 inch device this device actually feels very light and also as you can look uh, this is the I mean the glossy black and variant and this is they call it vivo call it the bold black variant and uh, I mean as compared to 6.3 inch device this device feels very light and this is a plastic body I know this is a plastic glossy plastic that uh, the back half but this actually looks great but the thing is that it is also a fingerprint magnet so I would say better to use this case so now let's move to the other box contents what we get so there's one more pamphlet so within this pamphlet what we get we get some basic manual uh, warrant information and some sim ejector tool which probably uh, I did unbox already earlier and also we get this uh, bundled earphone which has a vivo branding and also it resembles to the apple earlier generation earphones so as you can see this a uh, vivo branding earphone that we get with this one and also we get this uh, power brick and the adapter so uh, for those of you who don't know this is not a first charging and vivo v9 doesn't support first charging this is just a normal adapter this is 5 volt and 2 amps so this is not your first charger and also this is not a micro USB-C type cable this is just a normal cable so apart from this there's nothing in the box so let me just do one thing let me just clear the maze let me keep all the things aside and let's have a look at the phone itself so as you can see this is the phone itself and also as we uh, got a bumper case so why not put this phone into the case because this is definitely uh, not having a metal back and also uh, there's a shiny glassy black that we have variant so better to use this case and also uh, the good thing with this device is when you get the device actually one of the screen guard is actually pre-applied on the device so once you buy the smartphone you actually don't need to go for a screen guard immediately so you can use that screen guard for some time and after that you can decide whether to go for a good screen guard or not so as I told you that I already set up the device so let me just give you a 
physical overview so as you can see this is the phone itself this is having a 19 inch to 9 screen to body ratio and also at the at the at the top as you can see there's a notification led that glows the green color so it has a multicolor notification led that's actually good and also it has a iphone like not which uh, contains your camera the secondary speaker and also at the top we have nothing uh, at this side of the phone we have the same ejector tool and here we have the volume rocker and the power button and just below we have the port for charging the speaker and the definitely 3.5 headphone jack so that's all about the physical overview if i talk about the what powers this device actually this device is powered by snapdragon qualcomm 626 chipset and also it is having 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of storage so not too of a very bad configuration of a phone but let's just see let's unlock the device as I told you that I've been using this device for past couple of hours so I'll be just unlocking the phone with the help of this fingerprint scan and also just to let you know guys this uh, device also supports face unlock this is just a software feature so you can do that as well so uh, for now as of let me just unlock the phone so let me just tap on the fingerprint scanner and also i'm happy to report that the fingerprint scanner which this phone is having it's uh, basically a uh, very fast fingerprint scanner it's not like xiaomi mi one which really like takes one or two seconds to unlock your phone so as you can see this is the phone itself and uh, once i pick up the phone in the store the thing that i like very much about this device see the screen to body ratio it is having almost 90 percent of the screen real estate according to the what what it has the screen uh, to body size ratio as you can see so this kind of resembles iphone and also this has this kind of a famous notch which resembles very much to the iphone 10 so definitely this phone comes with a notch which houses a 24 megapixel front facing camera so definitely it has a notch and uh, just below that we have this beautiful display uh, which is uh, fhd full hd plus and yeah so this is the phone itself and we also have this uh, on screen buttons on screen keys and the back actually houses two dual cameras one of which is 16 megapixel primary camera and the second one is the 5 megapixel camera which helps you to take a better portrait shot so as this device is basically a camera centric smartphone so the main concern for me getting this device is to like explore the camera as much as possible because earlier to this one I was using Xiaomi Mi 1 if you look back at my channel there were like a couple of videos that I posted uh, about the device so I thought of changing my phone from stock Android to Vivo V9 yeah people will say like yeah but I thought of let's just pick up this device and let's just just for a change let's sometimes also uh, give priority to Vivo so <laughs> this is the phone itself so as you can see so these are just my initial impression and as I told you that I'm using this phone for a couple of hours and since then till now there's no lag like I've installed a couple of applications which includes my banking application normal regular Facebook and like uh, uh, other applications Ola, Uber and this studio and as you can see right now so this kind of resembles like an uh, iPhone-ish to me but yeah so these are all the notifications that you get uh, it's quite similar to iPhone and also for settings you just uh, get a control center for which you just have to pull up uh, from the bottom of the screen like this as you can see so this resembles your uh, control center which definitely looks like iPhone and also here you get your quick toggles like this so you can access your quick toggles and from here you can go to the settings also let me show you how you can access your recent screen so you just have to press this one and as you can see these are all your uh, recent applications that you get on this tray so let me just go to the settings first and let me show you uh, on which android version this phone is running actually so let me go to the settings so settings also if you look at the settings closely this phone is uh, very much i mean resembles to iphone like ios and also like this phone is not basically a stock android this is a fun touch os which i'll be showing you just now here's the settings as you can see all the icons we have are general Wi-Fi, uh, your Bluetooth, other things and also let me just go to more settings. Yep. 
so when you go to more settings you see let me just click on the about phone so this phone is basically vivo v9 it's uh, running on fun touch os which resembles to ios 11 be very sure and also let me show you uh, that it has 4 gb of ram and also it has uh, 626 which is basically a 2.2 gigahertz octa core processor by snapdragon and also it is running on android 8.1 so basically i'm happy about the fact that not being a stock android device this phone is also running on the latest android 8.1 so i'm not sure about the future updates because uh, when it comes to updates generally uh, non-stock device i don't have any idea because earlier to this one i was using uh, Xiaomi Mi Evo 1 and previous to that I was using this uh, Moto G4 Plus which you can see right now so basically I don't have any experience of using this kind of uh, like uh, uh, Vivo phones or some other phones which basically doesn't run on stock Android so I'm not sure about the update but one thing for which this phone is uh, like uh, getting sold for is the camera so let me just uh, show you the camera interface how it looks so as you can see there are tons of options uh, given for this camera as you can see there's a flash option HDR option is there so basically you can keep it on auto you can switch it on and off and basically you can go for the portrait mode so portrait mode I've tried I tested the portrait mode but what initially uh, like I feel like the portrait mode is good but it's not as good as Mi A1 but in the Mi A1 which I was using to this earlier so that has a like very good portrait mode so when it comes to the portrait mode I don't think so this device can compete Mi A1 but don't get me wrong the camera is very good so and also you have a live photo kind of a thing which basically takes a photo and just like two three seconds uh, prior to taking the photo it will just uh, create a short video like that and also if you go to the settings there are different options given by the company you know uh, choose uh, on which storage to store your photos and also there are different geographic locations framing and lines so there are different things that you can do and also if you go to the video so let me show you this is a very iPhone kind of feel that you get with this phone so this is a video section so this phone is basically supports 4k video recording so as you can see uh, right now the 4k option is selected now there is also 1080p and 720p option and not only this this dual camera which sits at the back which supports the 4k also if I talk about the front facing camera that also supports the 4k video recording actually in my initial testing I would say that the front facing camera is a little bit better than the rear one but yeah that's that's what it is so Yep. so let me just switch to front facing camera for a second mm -hmm. so as you can see this is the front facing camera hi guys and also uh, we have been given an option to uh, flash and also the HDR mode is there and also the portrait mode is there for the front facing camera and also if you click on the settings there are your regular settings which you would be able to see I guess on the phone yeah so that's about the camera I, uh, I haven't tested the camera too much on this phone so I'll be making other videos as well on this channel to get to know all my video notifications uh, don't forget to click on the subscribe button for this channel so that you never miss out any video uh, that I make on Vivo V9 so yeah this is kind of it for this video I just wanted to give you guys an initial impression of this Vivo V9 phone which is the latest offering for the company so yeah that's it kind of for this video so if you like the video definitely give this video a thumbs up and also definitely if you're not yet subscribed to my channel don't forget to click that subscribe button and also just beside the subscribe button you would be able to find the notification bell option just click that as well so in that way you would be getting all the notifications for the video that I upload on my channel so then again thanks so much for watching this video have a great day bye bye guys